back again with another video guys um this time i was just sitting here thinking you know and i was compelled to talk about the kids from the sky um these are you and i brothers and sisters uh we are the beings of light that came down here for this particular time in history time of uh, experience on this planet to intentionally wake up come together bring truth to the world express it demonstrate it and sh ex share it express it and demonstrate it to the people we are to i know for me personally i know my calling is to make these videos write this book that i'm working on write anything and everything that i can possibly think of down so that this information is shared spread and 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 saved um i i i recall being in a ship with with my family my the, my brothers and sisters of of the vibrational frequency that we all share um as one with the creator and I remember making the decision to come down here. I remember this life was going to be uh, absolutely badass. Um, there was gonna be some hardships along the way. There was gonna be some trauma along the way. Um, that's just the nature of this experience here. Um, I know that I've always felt you know, different and I've always felt that there was something inside of me that that wasn't inside of the other people that I was, I was, you know, talking to and uh, sharing my life experience with. And even to this day, you know, I, I talk to, to people that I've been close with, you know, for my entire life. And they, it's like I have three heads, you know, on my shoulders sometimes with some of the stuff that I say. But, uh, you know, my experiences, uh, my experiences told me that, you know, I need to express this stuff. I don't need to, you know, bombard people with it and preach it at them, but I need to express it. I need to get it out. I need to put it on paper and I need to vocalize it because uh, it's absolutely critical to my mission here that I do so. And I recall uh, knowing that there was gonna be hundreds of thousands of us, you know what I mean? Millions of us that were gonna come down here and wage this battle against the darkness that you know we knew that the time had come that their time was up and that this cycle was was not to continue um it was our it, it, it was our turn it was our time to come down here and remember i i re, i woke up at a very 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 early age i was uh you know, I've shared my story before on, on, on Pat in past videos, a little bit of it, you know, and and uh, I came across this information and I started waking up in 1995 or 1996, right around there. And uh, it's been as soon as the information crossed my 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 from my left brain into my right brain and I could spiritualize it and understand it on a deeper level. All the memories of what happened to us started flooding back, flooding back and flooding back. And my, my, my wake up process was so quick at the very beginning that it, it kind of, it kind of twisted my life up a little bit. I, I had a lot of information and I had a lot of understanding of the nature of reality, but I didn't have the maturity as a, as a human being to, to necessarily deal with it the right way. So I caused a lot of trauma in my life because I didn't adhere to the principles that were, were presented once this information lifted the blinders off my eyes once that happened you know i could see the the difference between wrong and right i could see the difference between good and bad you know uh, like the 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 knowledge of good and evil you know was was made available you know and i saw you know okay i need to stop eating shit. i need to stop thinking this way i need to stop acting this way i need to stop i need to let go of these traditions that have been created by not only my family but our society which have have blown up into these these gigantic belief systems that we can't ex escape from um you know i saw that at a very very early age and i saw the transition of society and i shut down i shut i shut that that part of me off 
so that I could better, I guess, interact with society. But what that did was it caused an inner turmoil within me that drove me towards an escape, which, which I found in alcohol and, and a little bit of drug use, you know, but mostly alcohol, you know, I fell in love with that shit because it gave me an escape from the reality that I, I felt that I had to partake in because I was such a weirdo because of this information that I had. But uh, now, you know, I really don't give a shit. I really don't care what people think. It doesn't matter to me if people accept this or not. The only thing that matters to me is that they hear it. That's the only thing that I care about is that people hear this information. Um, it's absolutely critical that every single one of us kids from the sky start talking about this and start coming together and coming together as a collective with with a solid a solid sequence of events a solid timeline of who we are which i believe if we could come together and explain and, and discuss this as one we could understand the nature of who and what we are and the nature of what we're dealing with here and the re the true nature of reality and the true depth of what these uh, these d forces of darkness of, are, are capable of technologically. We have to be aware of that because that is that is a, uh, a game changer. We can easily be deceived by advanced technology. It's not hard. The human mind is easily tricked. So we have to be very, very, very careful and aware of that. Um, and another thing is, I remember being with my with my brother my brothers and sisters my fellow kids from the sky and i remember being fucking giants and i wonder if any of you guys can relate to this i wonder if you can feel this and kind of experience this with me let me see if i can i can send some uh some frequency your way with some vision just try to imagine this with me imagine being a giant you know let's say 25 to 30 feet tall right a good size a good sized individual we'll say the saw, let's say the size of the, the height of a telephone pole, right? And we're running across the, uh, the planet and we're jumping on, onto mountains, mountainsides, like they're, like they're hills, like they're kids hills, right? And we're, we're just bounding over these mountains and, and, and enjoying the, the freedom to know that nothing can affect us, nothing can phase us. We are beings of light and nothing can hurt us unless we allow it with our minds. And we're jumping off mountains and we come to the Grand Canyon and we see it in all its glory standing 30, let's say we're 50 feet tall. We're standing 50 feet tall looking out over the landscape of the Grand Canyon running along the, the rim of it and we jump off and we can fly and we can coast in the air because our, 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 our vibrational frequency is that which we can meet the vibrational frequency and match the vibrational frequency of the wind and become, as Bruce Water says, Bruce Lee says, like water and join with the frequency of the wind and ride the wind down into the Grand Canyon diving into the Colorado River, hitting the Colorado River, shooting back up out of the water as a giant, and flying back up to the top, catching, catching the frequency of the wind again, landing on the rim of the Grand Canyon, and, and continuing on with your friends, filled with unconditional love and true freedom to create a life according to your own mind. Just imagine that for a second. Imagine the, 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 the reality of that, the depth of that, the feeling of being filled with unconditional love for everything and everyone around you and having the freedom to create a life according to your own unconditional love filled mind. Imagine the, the, the ramifications of that. If we could start acting in that, uh, in that accord on our own, and begin to radiate that frequency out to the masses, to the to the people that we come in contact with. And all that is all that is doing is us slowing down, taking a deep breath, 
and focusing on what we're thinking about right now and focusing on what vibrational frequency we vibrational frequency we want to emit and we want to radiate because being the kids from the sky we have an obligation to do the 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 work we have an obligation to step up and bring forth the light because if we don't we are in conflict with our nature with ourselves and with our mission and we will feel nothing but turmoil in this experience until we begin to do this mark my words um, the craving for alcohol will leave the craving for for drugs will leave you once we start absorbing the light of the Creator anything that is in disharmony with that begin, begins to be repelled by our own desires by our own needs we begin to, to direct our desires towards nothing but reconnection with our Creator and reconnection reconnection with the the unconditional love and freedom that gives us the peace that we're searching for mark my words my friend this is going to be an epic epic next six to nine months be prepared for anything we are going to see here very very shortly the greatest movie production ever portrayed and we have to be careful that we don't fall for the greatest manipulation and deception ever perpetuated on mankind we have to be ready for that. So, my friends, I love you all. And I hope you all have a very, very amazing day. And I, I pray to the light of the Creator that you all hear my words. These resonate within you. You share this. And it fills you with the greatest joy you've ever experienced in, my, in your life. Viskabu, my brothers. I love you. Bye.